What is a responsive website and why does one need it? Responsive web design is the key to having a user-friendly website on whichever device you use. If you're considering a career in web design, make sure you learn responsive web design as well. It's all about user experience, or UX, and well-done responsive web design ensures a good one on any screen size. Screen size is not the only concern. When designing a website, one should keep in mind more than just the screen size. It is the main concern for the designers, but there are more factors to be considered. Some of them include display resolution, or whether you're creating a design for a touchscreen. Adaptive web design. Adaptive web design is another approach that enables websites to work well on any device. It is similar to responsive web design in the way that both will change the web interface to fit the screen of any size. However, there are numerous differences, like the working principles or time or cost to create them. The main difference is that adaptive web design will remove a part of the content or some options in order to make the website user-friendly on mobile devices. And responsive web design will only adjust the website layout without losing any piece of the content. How to create responsive websites. Creating a responsive design is not easy. It takes a lot of practice in order for one to become successful in this field. We listed some of the most important steps that responsive design includes. You need fluid layouts as opposed to fixed width layouts. Liquid layout size is declared in percentages, which allows content to shift within the viewpoint. Sometimes in CSS you don't have to define widths at all, which results in the content automatically filling up the screen regardless of the size. Don't forget about the images. Having an image that's too large and that cannot adjust to the screen size will disarrange the whole website layout on the mobile device. If you go for responsive web design, then you must include responsive images too. You can use adaptive images for that. It works by setting the image width property at 100%, which scales up or down to fit the parent container size. Media queries. With responsive design, we need to include different device-specific criteria, such as screen width and height, resolution, orientation, landscape or portrait. These modules can detect which kind of device the website is rendering on and then apply the set rules. Mobile first rule. Start creating your website for smaller screens first and lay out the most important features of the content to be viewed first. Then work your way up by adjusting the design for bigger screens. Mobile first rule also allows websites to render faster on smaller screens. Do not set the breakpoints based on target devices. Since different screen sizes will continue to be produced, there's no point in deciding your breakpoints at a certain number of pixels. Instead, find a logical place to put your breakpoints based on the content. Always test your design. There are numerous online tools to check how your website looks and behaves on different devices, and also various resources that will help you create a responsive website design. Here are some of them. Web browsers. Normally, the first step to preview your website is to open it in your web browser. You should further test it on several more browsers because it can happen that it doesn't render well on all. Mobile devices. Of course, the easiest way to check how your website behaves on a mobile phone is to test it on your own. Google's Resizer. This tool enables designers to test their website on different platforms in real time and check where the breakpoints are. Ending thoughts. Creating a responsive website design has its challenges, that's undeniable. It does, however, pay off to invest your time and money into making a website accessible from any device, now and in the future. Mastering the basics will certainly benefit you in the long run. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to it to make sure you're one of the up-to-date web designers out there. There are lots of useful videos coming up. You can also check out some of these other videos that we've created by clicking on the thumbnails that are on the screen right now. See you in our next video.